So this is a 3D printer. Um, this kind uses a plastic filament and it works kind of like a fancy hot glue gun. It takes this string of plastic, it melts it, and then it draws out the object line by line into a three-dimensional object. Now, I, I don't know what I'm doing when I walk in here, but that's okay, right? You can help out. <laughs> Absolutely. Any Anytime this space is open, there's going to be at least one of us uh, in here who can help you figure out the process, take you from start to finish. Yeah. So if someone was making one of these, you can actually find files online for the stuff you want to create, right? Absolutely. There's a lot of free resources online. There are definitely places you can buy them, but you don't have to. Um, and we can point you in the right direction for those too. Yeah. As long as it's the right file. What's yeah. What are we looking for? Uh, it is usually an STL file, um, but those are very common. You're not going to run into a lot of weird stuff. Gotcha. It's pretty, pretty uh well situated as well. All right. Sounds good. All right, so what do we do? Okay, so we have our design on the flash drive here. We're going to plug that in, and it already has an idea of what it is. Hit print, and then we need to load up our plastic. So while we're waiting, yeah. someone might be wondering, how much does this cost me if I want to come in and create my own model? Uh, to make your own, we have uh, everybody gets one free print a month within reason can't do a full Iron Man suit. I'm sorry. Um, uh, beyond that, there is a small fee for materials. Um, we try to keep everything as low as possible. It's not a business. It's a library. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and uh, if you just kind of have a rough idea of what you want, we can, like I said, we can point you in the direction of some resources. We have uh, computers here that you can use and um, then get it on the machine. Right. So we could come in and create all the original 151 Pokemon on here. If, we could create all the characters we need for our, our uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaigns. If you have the patience to do it, absolutely. <laughs> What's your favorite thing you've seen made? Uh, we had one recently. It was like a um, like the classic anatomical model split like uh, outside of a person on one side and a skeleton on the other, but it was a Lego man. <laughs> wow, it, that's it cool. It was really fun. That's cool. Okay, so then it is going to do its own testing to make sure that everything is working right. It knows where the uh, where the bed is in relation to the tip, all of that, and uh, then it'll get started. And once it starts, is it a set it and forget it? We can just walk away. Pretty much, yeah. Um, these days, they practically run themselves. Okay, so our star is finished. So what's next? We're all done. So all we have to do is pull this off, pop it off the plate. Ooh, that came off really nice. Wait, that was clean. Yeah. Nice. Easy as that. Our keychain's ready? Yeah. And clean up the rest of that later. <laughs>